my topic is basically who, which superstar has the most pressure to win this year, NBA Finals. Any superstar you want. I guess it could be an all-star, but um, whoever you guys feel, um, go ahead and explain it. I'm going to go first for once because it is my topic. So the person I chose, um, he's very popular these days, uh, especially on Agree to Disagree. Uh, the person I chose is LeBron James, man. The king. Jane, chosen one. Um, I feel like he has the most pressure to win. I do. And most of it is not just because how I feel about Brian. You know, I mean, I want to just put add more pressure on him. It ain't even about that. Um, it's about the fact that 17th season, and I actually took some notes down, man. This dude has played over 1,200 games, and that's not even including playoffs. 1,200 games, not including playoffs. Olympics, too. Olympics, too. Like, that's not including none of that. And then he's at – he's almost at 50,000 minutes played already. I think he's, like – he's, like, 30 minutes old. Like, Kobe's ahead of him. Uh, he – I think Le- LeBron was, like, six on the list. It was Kobe and then KD, Carl Malone, and dudes like that. But um, I know he's a – we all know he's a freak of nature when it comes to taking care of his body and – being strong and all that, but I think all them miles take a toll and God forbid something does happen. You know what I mean? We don't want that, but I'm just saying as he, as he gets older and his game is going to evolve to where it's not as athletic, but as he gets older, I think that that light dwindles a little bit. Right. And that, that was my first point. So the first point was father time. Second point is he's an LA Laker. Now Jay, Pops, Craig, we debated about this all last what year, all last season, because they traded my boy Bi, and y'all know how I felt <laughs> about that, and uh, y'all was like, John, it's for AD, it's for AD. I'm like, man, I like Bi, he's he gonna be solid, and he, and what did y'all tell me, man? He, this is the Lakers, we in win now mode, we in win now. Lakers got to win now. We've been sorry for too long. They've been at the bottom, the bottom of the West for too long. I ain't been winning 20 games in the season for too long. So another reason is, the second reason is, win now. Third reason, um, our future is gone, right? So we got Anthony Davis. I think this is his last year before the contract, right? So I'm not going to say he ain't going to come back. But winning the championship kind of gives LeBron that reassurance to where if he does come back and get some other free agents um, in the off season, it boosts his level, his chances to get in that, that fourth and fifth type. Right. Um, and another reason is the, I think the pandemic for Anthony Davis and LeBron has been huge, not just for them, but for all the, NBA, but mainly them because they got some much needed rest that they needed. Anthony Davis was playing all banged up this past season. Um, LeBron's been solid, um, hasn't had too many too many hiccups, but the pandemic has done them wonders, not necessarily on the chemistry side of things, but for LeBron's age and the miles on his legs, um, it, does, it does him justice. Now, if he doesn't win, I'm not going to say it's a fail, but um, I'm going to say it now. For some point, at some point, Jared's going to bring it up during the show. Um Kobe didn't win with uh, Pau Gasol his first year win. His first year, they lost to the Celtics. But to Kobe's defense, because, you know, I always got to defend my boy. Um, they got they got Paul Gasol in the middle of the year, right? Like, was it after All-Star break? Wait, hold on, Before. Jay. Hey, hey, when was it, Jay? It was in the middle. Before. Oh, it was in the middle. Oh, okay. So, it was Before All-Star. So, it was probably, they, they probably had about 30. 20-something games. 20-something games. <clears throat> Had about 30, 20 some games to uh, uh, to get that chemistry right. Still got to the finals, um, but anyway, that's a whole nother thing. Um, Anthony Davis and LeBron. Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis, basically been on the Lakers since uh, he was a Pelican, right? Um, <laughs> everyone knew he was going. Everyone knew he was going to the Lakers. Hey, didn't Bob's play. Didn't hot, shoot man. up. Never, never seen it. <laughs> everyone knew he was going to the Lakers. Never seen it. Didn't play. All right, for sure. Training camp, um, summer, same agent. I think the chemistry is a little better. You know what I mean? But I just feel like 
all, all seriousness, though. All seriousness. I think the three the three main points is um, father time, even though he's still great and in great shape. Father time, um, what we traded to get AD, our future, right? And third, uh, he's a Laker, man. And you guys always tell me when now, when now. Now it's okay to lose because we got a, we got two future Hall of Famers. Now it's okay to lose. Go ahead, man. Who next? I'm going to go. I'm go. Go go. I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Cause this, this, this is it. Well, you got me hot. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Man. yeah. I've been talking just reckless. I mean, <laughs> listen, man. The pressure is not on LeBron James. Mm. Who I pick, I'm going to tell you who the pressure is really on. And we talk about this year's fight. And I'm just going to say for the rest of their career, the pressure is James Harden. James Harden got the most pressure. Um, we forget James Harden was MVP 2018. James Harden has been an eight-time All-Star. James Harden was 2012 Sixth Man of the Year. James Harden two times was NBA scoring champion, back-to-back. -back. James Harden was an assist leader in 2017. This is James Harden. James Harden lost in 2017 in the Western Conference Finals to the Spurs with a hurt Kawhi Leonard. And then James Harden also that following year lost to Golden State in the seventh game. That was the game where they missed the 27 threes. Mind you, KD did not play. James Harden window is kind of leaving because he has the most pressure. And right now, He's going to be a Hall of Famer, but James Harden is pretty much almost going to be on the road like Charles Barkley because he has to win. Now he has Russell. We can't keep making these excuses for him. Y'all keep saying, oh, don't make no excuses. Don't make no excuses. He ran into this. He ran into that. He ran Chris Paul out of town. Okay, James has to win. You don't get Russ and say, okay, well, we waiting on the chemistry and all that. I think when the Lakers got Paul Gasol, I think they went like 15 and 1. Do y'all remember how hot Greg Popovich was when they got Paul Gasol? He was like, ah, it's it melody. It. It's over. And, and then he's like, but we can't beat them. They were already winning with Cole doing what he was doing. But still, James Harden, man, you got, we got to start. You talking about expectations? We got to start putting that on him. James Harden has went to the finals, has not been back since. You know, he's been to the Western Conference Finals twice and cannot make it. That window is closing. LeBron signed for four years. LeBron, all he has to do is win one in LA. One, he exceeds expectations. So the hardest pressure is on James Harden. I'm out. Man, go. Someone I'll, go after that. Just do. I'll, I'll, no. I'll go ahead. <laughs> James, I mean, James Harden I'll, don't have pressure. Bro, no one care about James Harden, man. But, yeah, so, Pops, I, at first when you said it, I was a little like, I don't know, but so is he not, you're saying, I, I agree, with, I agree, but it's still like is I, I, nobody's really putting James Harden up. They're putting him up, putting him up there because he's what he does offensively, but. He but is not is at the championship star? level, bro. Is he box office? Is he a superstar? Yeah, but he's not championship level, Pops. He ain't, why, he ain't there. Why, why we don't put him there? Because two MVPs. He, he's, he's, he's too tricky in the, in the playoffs. Yeah. My point. That's my point. He just smoked off three of them. Exactly. So, so the pressure's so gone. Everybody's he's like, what he, yeah. He's everybody's what he's like, like, all right. <laughs> he ain't going to win. So there's, no, so there's no pressure. I mean, from an ego standpoint, from LeBron a stand, I think is what it's going to be. So, so, so we're going to put all this – I'm like, Jay, so we're going to put all this on LeBron. Oh, no, yeah. only, I, it was only one person. Everyone ain't going yet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm curious to see who everybody else got. So, LeBron will have pressure? LeBron I know y'all better, better not say Paul George because he's not a superstar. I was, I, was, I was debating between two. I was, it was between Giannis and uh, – and LeBron for me, and Giannis only because I think he should have came out these last year. Obviously, what Kawhi did throughout the playoffs, he he showed him like, all right, like you got your team, I got my team, I'm better than y'all feel like. He he showed him out, he showed out. Um, 
But oh. I'm, I'm gonna have to agree. I'm gonna have to agree with John though. I'm, I'm gonna give it to LeBron, and the only reason I mean, he brought up all the points, so I'm not gonna harp on to it, and I'll let somebody else go because he took all my points too. We we gave him a year when he got hurt. We that everybody says I don't give him a pass. I gave him a pass when he's sitting on the court side drinking wine. Never, never, never before seen in the NBA. I gave him a pass, let him do his thing. He's out there messing around like he knows the season's over. He knows he's getting all those young dudes traded. Now you got your guy. Now you got the guy that you've been wanting. So to me, that's why. And and it's not so much of him. It's like I said earlier in the, in the topic earlier. I think it's who the Lakers are. It's not Cleveland. It's not the Heat. It's L.A. You got to come here and win. Uh, before Kobe passed away, he had a, he, he had an interview. He's like, I feel for LeBron. I, I've been in those teams where you don't have anybody. I've had those, and people get on you. He's like, I know how it is. He's like, I'm not I'm not mad at him. I know what he's thinking. He's like, but you got to fight. You got to win here, though. Like, let's not get it twisted. Like, you can't just come here, and you don't have the team, so we're just not going to play. I know he got hurt, and obviously, I didn't want to say if I get that, but he has to win here. And I, I, to Pop's point, if he gets one, people are going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he should, he All should I want get is at one. least one or two. All I want is one. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't want one you're a Pelican. Remember, you jumped off the bandwagon. You can't nah, do I'm that. A, I'm a Pelican and a Clipper. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but but, but that, that, Clipper that, Nation, remember? Clipper, Clipper Nation. Nation. Stay yeah, with so that, That's That's my biggest point. It has nothing to do with LeBron before everybody in the comments starts going in. Here he goes. It's not about LeBron. It's about him, where, where he's at, the whole I, – I, they're too young. Can't win with Luke Walton. He's too young of a coach. Let, let, we brought in a new coach. Obviously, it wasn't the coach he wanted. But you got your guy. You got a team around you. You got a bunch of your guys. Um, your guy, he was killing it, and they were playing really good before the pandemic hit. So, I think Can't he has pressure. But I, I was really I was really close to picking Giannis, too. I think Giannis should have came out the East last year, and I think I think they were going to come out the East this year, too. So, that's Boston. my guy, though. Go ahead, Craig, because they're killing me tonight. You're killing me, Pops. You brought, at least you brought up James Harden. <laughs> because you, 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 <laughs> you always throw a name in there, man. You always throw a name in there. Because the question was player. That's easy to pick a LeBron and Giannis, man. That's easy. So we That's just the answer to the question. That's, so we just, That's we just got to bring it. That's so easy. All right, I'm going to throw in Jason Tatum just to throw a different Like That doesn't That's make any boy, sense. Craig. Okay. Doesn't make any sense. Nah. I'm about ready to walk out of here. Let's go. Nah, I mean, real, real quick. I, I mean, I think James Harden. I didn't even think about James Harden, and that's a good point. But people also got to think too. He put more pressure on himself by leaving that OKC team when he did to to Fact. steer to steer his own ship. And also too, like we talked about LeBron earlier. I'm just throwing his nugget out here. He does have with a guy with his talent who's a superstar. He has that pressure winning that one. So that's where the pressure for James Harden comes in. So I agree with that. But I did pick LeBron only because of, of points we already made. They signed AD. They put the best person in the league around him. They put great pieces around him like we argued that he didn't have before. And also, two that windows closed. And one nugget people aren't talking about, this year he has pressure because Golden State ain't around. You need to steal them cookies, you know, while mom's not home. You know what I mean? So that, that's one big thing that people aren't bringing up. This is one. This is one window opportunity, and also too, the West is young and they're getting a lot better. I mean, you still got the Clippers, you got Denver, you got the Jazz, you got a down. You know, you got the Pelicans coming up. I mean, this is a window where not only is he getting older, but he has to seize the moment right now. On top of the fact that he's getting so old, and the pressure of being a Laker, like everybody's saying, he needs at least one. I agree with that. He needs at least one to join the Laker. If he leaves the Lakers without one chip. When the Lakers are the type of organization that will put any that will do anything to win and put any piece around you to make you successful, I definitely think that it puts way more pressure on LeBron to win in this um, you know in this environment. I mean, you know, he has to live up to the legacy of Magic, Kareem, Kobe. I mean, that's a big big shoes to fill, and I think he knew that pressure when he came to LA that he had to bring at least one chip. So I would say LeBron has a lot of pressure because of the cachet. Yeah, somewhat of that, that he brought on to himself. But at the same time, he decided to end his legacy in L.A., so he does have some big shoes to fill. So I think he definitely has a lot of pressure to win. And he got the best power forward in the game on the team. Oh, now he do. Okay, let me say this. I, you know, I'm almost – you know what? I, I, you know, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. All of y'all. 
Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, y'all. I can't believe that y'all sit up here. So y'all mean to tell me. And I was going to do it, but I thought maybe one of y'all would probably do it. But since y'all didn't, y'all mean to tell me that Kawhi Leonard has no pressure to bring a championship this year? Not as much as uh, LeBron. Clippers. LeBron yeah. ain't won in five years, it's the Pop. Clippers. He hasn't won in five years. Hold on, B. He hasn't <laughs> won in five everybody, years. Everybody, the greatest everybody. player of all time hasn't won in five years. But Kawhi so just won. So we give a Kawhi a pass while he's putting his team together. Bro, it's not Nobody a pass. Nobody gets it's a who pass. Has the most pressure. Who has Kawhi doesn't have no pressure to bring the Clippers a championship this year? Not, not as much Kawhi as LeBron does. has to give them a Lake, the Lakers a championship this year. So it's still uh, Lakers, oh, Clippers, oh, so LeBron, so, Kawhi. The reason why I'm saying this because I don't think we're really honing in on the question. The question was which player. So all of a sudden, I'm gonna keep LeBron. going. Deep. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me Ben Simmons and MB get a pass? That, we talking superstars. Y'all gotta stop this. Ben Simmons, <laughs> wait, man. Ben Simmons is not a superstar, man. He is not a superstar. Was he a number one draft pick? What does that mean? So was Kwame Brown. He was a draft pick. So, so I'm just so saying. Was, so hey, Craig, there a, goes that name, Craig. Um, Kwame Brown, me, Google this. You <laughs> tell me Ben Simmons was not drafted to be a franchise player, him and MB. Yes, he was, Pops, but that doesn't so mean Ben Simmons is a They're superstar the right now. They're in the seventh seed. You know what? Y'all be ashamed of yourself because Allen Iverson just said it. MB has pressure to win. He said, because I didn't realize it until I was there. MB has pressure to win. And you talking about the window closing? That's the window closing on MB. I don't believe y'all doing this. Hey, Jay, who you got, Jay? Who you got, Jay? Who you got, Jay? I think you're the broad, Jay. If y'all don't stop this, y'all better stop so, this. So, Pops, Pops, Joel MB has more pressure to win a championship right now than LeBron James? I'm not saying, but that's the question. That's so, what you brought up. But what, so, what you, so you should have made the question, who has more pressure? LeBron James or blah, 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 blah. You said player. And so I why said we, LeBron. LeBron. So why, we, so why is everybody else getting why is everybody else getting the pass? Why is Kawhi getting the pass when he told yeah, Paul George? He, he told Paul George, leave there, come here. So why are we gonna give him a pass? Go 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 ahead, Greg. Go ahead, Greg. Y'all gonna give Pops a headache, man. I got I'm gonna wait one point. I think there, I think there, number one, the question, the pressure's off Kawhi. He already has two, and I think that no, just hear me out. I think he's, he already has two. He did he did his work, in San Antonio. He got one last year. He's last kind of year. Stuck. Yeah, last year. So, but I don't think he has the most pressure. I don't think we're giving him a pass, but he definitely doesn't have the most pressure. He has to win. I, 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 I don't think he gets like right. It has to be this year. That doesn't mean we're giving win, him a pass, pops. Yeah. If he, I if he say hey, pops. Kawhi doesn't if mean y'all give him a pass. Hey. So y'all giving so yo, y'all giving him a pass, man. Y'all giving him and Paul George a pass. But I, I, I will say, pops. Though here's the thing, though. Uh, James Harden got more pressure to win this year than Kawhi because James needs needs that one, and of all the scoring accolades and and how he's been carrying the team. For the last five seasons on his own, right. I th- James Kawhi got won more last year. Pops, you kidding me? Yeah, Kawhi, they, you know, LeBron ain't won in ten, ten years. <laughs> go, go ahead, Greg. I mean, uh, Jay, go, Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Well, you know, it's it's funny the kind of shows we we all connected, man. Because Kawhi was one of my players. I, I feel like, of course, he I was. Think, I feel like a lot of pressure is on Kawhi. The reason is. Is once again my my if we're if we're Kawhi right now is in a weird pl- place. He's a really great player. If we're trying to put him in the conversation of being one of the best of all time, he still has to win the championship by being the best player on his team. One, but beating a beating hear me out beating a great team at full strength. I feel like at the end of the day, Toronto did beat Golden State last year. But if we look at the facts, that wasn't Golden State. And and again, those are those are under I feel like everybody goes under different rules, right? Like So that year don't count. Win. No, he won the championship. But what I'm saying is I, I feel like for us to be mentioning him in the conversation of being one of the best of all time, he still hasn't won a regular season MVP. 
which I think is a huge thing in the conversation being the GOAT. And I feel like he has to still win a, another one. I feel like if he wins with the Clippers, he's got to be there, bro, because no one's ever won with the Clippers. And you know, he did win with the Raptors, though I feel like Golden State wasn't that full screen. He has two uh, of the Spurs, right? He has two he, of the Spurs. He has two. He okay. has two of the Spurs, but I'm only going by, again, my. No, my I, that was just a real question. I was trying to think of how many times so, he does have oh, so two. He, so he has three championships? He has three championships, but again, that it goes back to what my argument was before. Was he the best player with the Spurs? He might have been the best player on one of those championships. And we can say he was Finals MVP, but Iga Dalla was Finals MVP too, and he wasn't the best player. So was he the most important player when they beat Miami? Yeah, he was great. But I'm I'm talking where it's no question he's the best player in the world. He leads his team to a championship. So I, if you give me a little more time, to, I, and I have a 1B, believe it or not. So my <laughs> 1B is AD. Now I'm going to tell you why. I, I kind of put AD where Kobe was when Kobe and Shaq got together. I feel like Kobe, the first year or two, had to be, had to be Robin, and they had to win. And he had to be a huge part. They weren't going to win those. Hear me out. They weren't going to win those championships without Cole. But Shaq was still the best player. And not to cut you off, Dave. Not to to cut you off while while we're on topic. Um, Shaq was clearly the best player. Um, Mm -hmm. I, I, me personally, I don't know if I can say that for LeBron. Offensively, yes, the offense is trash without LeBron. But AD is a one B on that offensive end, and he's guarding, Mm -hmm. and he's guarding the other team's best player. Do you remember who was guarding Kawhi the last time they played? I don't think just Anthony because Davis you're guarding, was what? I don't think just because you're guarding the best player means you're the best player. I just think you're the best player. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, situation. no, no. I'm saying his importance and effect and uh, impact on okay, both ends. I see what you mean. Both ends. No, no, no. I don't, just, I, I don't discount that. But you know what? You're right. So let's even, that even furthers my point. I feel like if he's that guy and they're positioned to be that guy, he has to win. He He's only won one playoff series his whole career. And we can arguably say that Rondo was the best player that series. It wasn't even AD, it was Rondo, to be honest, when they beat Portland. Facts. Facts. So I think he still has some proving to do in terms of impact in the postseason and, and affecting winning in the postseason as being one of the best players. I think if him and LeBron can win, that puts him like where Kawhi was. Kawhi wasn't the best player with San Antonio, but it it, it moved him up quickly because of his impact with his team that year being so important. I feel like AD is kind of what you're saying. That's kind of what he is for the Lakers, right? So if he can win that championship, I feel like that kind of puts him in that position. That's why I call him my one B. So just clarifying, you're saying – Players that um, have the most pressure to win, one, Kawhi, and then one B, Anthony Davis? Yeah, because I – like Out of the whole the, NBA, those are the two players that got the most pressure to win. I feel like Kawhi is is is, is, is a choice. But AD is – Let, is let, me, ask, let me ask you this, Jay. Let me ask you this. Yeah. So, just like hypothetically speaking, so say the Lakers mm-hmm. don't win in the LeBron AD era. Are we going to look mm-hmm. back and blame it or look more – at AD, like, well, AD couldn't get it done, or are we going to look back and be like, well, LeBron couldn't get it done? Because if you if you think he has more pressure, I'm just curious about that. Do you think we'll look back question. and be like, uh, well, it was it was AD instead of, like, LeBron was in his, you know, and it was past his prime. AD came here in his prime. Like, do you but again, we gonna... I, I think that's where I feel like LeBron has a different set of rules than every other great player that's played. I feel every other great player that's played – has been given the freedom to kind of still win championships, but not always be as impactful. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar won those championships, but he didn't. He wasn't as important the last two. But when we talk about Kareem winning the last two championships, we don't say, well, Kareem was trash because we respected what Kareem did. So we still make him a huge part of those championships. I feel like with LeBron, the narrative is going to always be LeBron. He could be in his 25th year, 
and we're going to still feel like, well, man, LeBron should have won. When that's respect, that's respect. I just feel like, again, it, it falls under a, a different set of rules, which is cool. Which is cool. I feel like. Go ahead, go ahead, I, I feel sorry. like I feel like another another superstar at his talent, like say this, he had the same accolades. If he was as healthy as as LeBron is his 17th year, and he got a guy like AD, it would still be the same thing. I don't think it's just LeBron. Like, like we're giving. LeBron, it's, I think it's if if we, if somebody was in their 17th year, had three rings, had all, all the accomplishments, or close to what LeBron has, and he got a guy like AD in his in a past or in AD's prime, but past his own prime, like. I don't. I don't think. I don't but, think but, it would be. I agree with you, BG. But that's why I feel like this is where pops. I feel what pops is saying. I feel like again, other stars are under a different set of rules. Paul George was an MVP candidate. He was an MVP candidate a year ago, right? Paul George is is one of the top. He was at one point top five in the NBA. He was far none. Legit. And Kawhi Linder personally worked out a deal with him to make him trade himself to come play with him. So the difference end, between the that the same and thing LeBron, yeah, LeBron same thing LeBron did. No, no, that, that, no, that's my point. That's my point. There's no difference. So if we're Kawhi should have the I get same what you're saying. Of rules. I get what you're that's saying. my point. Kawhi don't play for the Lakers. But, but you said you didn't put him you didn't put him up there with, with the superstars. Those, those are your words. Those are your words. Pop, Jay, Craig, Cal used to tell me this all the time. He don't it's, it's it's the Lakers. You have to win now. You do have I remember to win. you do have to win. So what so when I, I, I say them. he plays for the Lakers, why because John, you are giving Kawhi a pass. You're Pop, giving him just, a pass. I guarantee you they're not sitting there going, well, we have next year. No, they don't. They don't have next year. Pop, you why, they, why, they why does it have to be, to, why does it have to be, I'm giving him a pass? <laughs> why have, John, 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 I have an answer to that question. Okay, go ahead. I, I have a genuine answer to that question, and it goes back to what I've been saying, and I feel like I've been trying to say on top, but y'all correct me wrong. LeBron falls under a different set of rules. You're right. The Lakers are a type of franchise that has to win. You're right, bro. And I said that. When Kobe was old, we didn't hold him to the same standard with the Lakers. Oh, Jay, yeah. Jay, he tore his Achilles, 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 Achilles at 39 no, no. years old. Are you, you guys can't, You guys can't do that. We can't say if, if it's about the Lakers – and their standards is the standard. But now all of a sudden LeBron's there. When LeBron lost and had no AD, you guys said, man, there go LeBron. He fell no, uh, and and I, so I, I, don't, I don't remember saying right? that. So, because like I said earlier, I never gave Kobe a pass. But if people forget, before his Achilles, Kobe mm -hmm. was doing some of the stuff LeBron was putting up. He was putting up LeBron numbers. Obviously, without the uh, the triple doubles and assists, but he was out there. He was arguably one of the he was the best player in the league, and then he got hurt. So, but but for us, but for us to say, and I get it. I'm not I, I'm not giving him a pass. I already said this earlier in the other take. I'm not giving him a pass for the last years. But for us to compare Kobe's 17th year with a torn Achilles to LeBron being without no major injury ever, like that's that's like but but, but, we're not but, but we're not we giving him a pass. I'm not doing that. I feel what you're saying. I look at the 2011 playoffs where he, Kobe he, was he up got, there. Hear, hear me out. In 2011, they got destroyed by Dallas. By Matt, they got yeah. destroyed. The same team that we, team that we got on, yeah. we got on LeBron for getting smashed. LeBron's the biggest upset in history. You lose to Dallas. But, but Kobe had Wait, just Kobe went by the road. Come on, man. That, that, that's the same. That's the same. Kobe had went two in a row. You just beat the defending champions. The Lakers were the defending champions with Paul Gasol and him. So, look, let me tie it all in. My whole point is I don't feel like – I feel like if we're trying to get guys to evolve to be the GOATs, we have to hold those guys, the Hardens, the – quite Leonard's above Harden, but we have to hold those guys to that standard. Who's taking the NBA over when LeBron is gone? KD. So then, then all of a sudden we're gonna say Kawhi? No, Kawhi has to beat. He has to knock people off to get that title. But if then, LeBron but then we're tires. But then we're gonna say really if, Kawhi, gonna if, if if Kawhi beats LeBron, then it's gonna be like, well, LeBron was in the seventeen eight. People are gonna say that. 
I you know it's true. That. I know you won't, but I'm saying say people that. are going to say that. But people are going to be mm-hmm. like, well, you know, LeBron was – he was in his 18th, 19th, whatever Y'all year. Y'all just said that does, about Kobe. Y'all just said yeah. the same thing about Kobe. And I get that, but I, I'm saying I'm, when you're comparing both, Kobe wasn't at the level LeBron's at because he had a major injury, Jay. Jay, he did. He, bro, he tore his Achilles. He did. I'm, no, he did. So how is that comparable? LeBron's out That's there still 6'9". No injury. He doesn't even have right. a sprained ankle. Okay, so then I got you. 2012, he 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 lost to OKC. Should not have lost that series. Terrible, OKC. yeah. Terrible. 2011, he, lost. he lost against Dallas. These things happen when Kobe he should never. Prime. He should have never These gone to. Happen. He should have never gone to seven games with the Nuggets before they lost to the. To the right. OKC. I right. get that, but but you're saying you're making it seem like I always go. Up. I'm agreeing with you. It's just like. I, the one thing I can't agree with you on is we're going to compare Kobe's 17th year with LeBron's 17th year when Kobe had one leg, Jay, and he still came back, and then he tore his – like, it, it's, it's just no, – I, I brought, can't compare that. I brought that up based on John bringing up the fact that – I did say this, the, the expectation for the Lakers. I just feel like that's, that changes based on who's on the Lakers. Yes, LeBron has pressure to win. Yes, he's playing for the Lakers. I agree with all of that. But I feel like if you're Kawhi Leonard you and you're to trying to establish yourself as the best player in the world right now, you got to knock him off. That's what I mean. Like, to get yourself where you're jumping over dudes, the way Jordan beat the Pistons, the way the Pistons beat the Celtics, the, you know, like, guys got knocked off. So I feel like Kawhi has to still have that one year where he knocked somebody off being clearly the best player on the team. And, and to it. add on that, and to add on that, just like you said, Kawhi is trying to build his resume. LeBron is right. still doing the same thing. LeBron's not out doing pickup ball. Like he's still chasing something, too. Kawhi's chasing something, and LeBron's still chasing something. That's all I wanted to clarify. And also, Pops, this is for you, OG. Bro, just because <laughs> I feel that he has pressure to win, don't mean dudes is getting passes. Dudes ain't getting yeah, passes. We're- it's We're throwing that word around too much. Yeah. It's, it's who has the most pressure. I feel but, LeBron, based on what y'all told me when they traded my boy. But He's a why, Laker. He got to win. That's my point. So why is Kawhi not getting that same pressure when he asked to get his boy? It's the same He's thing. Not, He's not playing for the Lakers. But it's still He's not playing for – Listen, it, it's still pressure. There's still pressure. But I'm that, saying the fact that – the fact of the Lakers haven't won or been relevant in the last five years, Clippers, okay. Lakers John, pressure, I, I, that's I, I, all I'm I, saying. I, I, I'm not saying I, that the Clippers don't I, I, have pressure. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But <laughs> this, I understand because it's the Lakers, it is a higher standard. When the Lakers got Anthony Davis, when the Lakers got Anthony Davis, it shook up the NBA. It shook the NBA. If Everybody you know, started Anthony freaking out. <laughs> when the Lakers got Anthony Davis, Everybody went into a partnership. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Russ, oh, all of them, baby, Kyrie, all of them went partnership. Because there's no it's, way in the world we're going to beat them dudes by ourselves. There's no they way. Started, they, they started happen. doing that. They started doing the all-star teams when LeBron went to Miami Pops. No, Go ahead, Craig. That's true stuff. Go ahead, <laughs> No, I mean, I, I still feel like it's LeBron, but – for, for some reason, I feel like that pressure is going to come on Kawhi next year. Mm. I mean, definitely, we got to see how this how this shakes out. Obviously, we don't know how this pandemic season is going. You know, and it brings you back to the, San, the year San Antonio won. There's going to be a seat. Well, you have to accept they won that that lockout year. We got to let the season play out and see what happens. You know. Now, also too, LeBron doesn't win this year. That puts a whole lot of pressure on him next year. Mm-hmm. A whole lot of pressure, and and AD, you know, hopefully he's gonna resign. I mean, there's a lot of things that's that's dependent on this season and what's gonna happen. What if he doesn't come back? That's gonna be the crazy part. If they don't win this year, and then AD doesn't come back, and that that was a point I made. His contract is a contract year. Like he could be, he's gonna be a free agent next year. Like team up with somebody else. He's coming. Like I said before, I think like this format and, and who's going to play and who's not going to play, I think it, this is going to benefit, you know, the style of play like James Harden. And that's Damian Lillard. Like, 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 like I said before, like the, like the 76ers, you never know what's going to happen in this kind of format. 
And we'll ah. see what happens. 